Hi everyone, this is Untold Force, and today I'm going to show you how to flash the firmware on your VKB devices. First, you'll want to go to the vkbcontrollers.com website, and at the top you'll notice that there's a downloads page. You'll have to go to the downloads page, and you'll want to first grab the firmware for all VKB devices. Your version number right here might be different than mine, um, that's okay, uh, but you'll need to grab the firmware. You also want to get the VKB dev config device configurator um, and make sure that, of course, you're getting the newest version. You'll want to download all of these at the same time. And last but not least, you'll want to get the VKB Z bootloader. Um, after you download all of these, you'll want to extract those files. And I will already have already done that. So we're going to pull this over here change this around a little bit. So as you can see, I have a lot of things in my VKB folder. That's okay. But what we're going to start with is we're going to go to Z bootloader and I have the version 1.96, which is the version that's on the website. I'm going to double click this. Now you can run this as an administrator, which is something that they recommend. So I'm going to right click this, run as administrator. Ask me if I want to do that. Absolutely. So you can see that some of my things are on uh, version 2.18.5, which is the version on the website, and some are not. So we'll start with, uh, let's see. Uh, let's go with my Gladiator. So this is the VKB Sim Gladiator Evo OT for Omnithrottle and L for left hand. So what I'll do is I'll first double click it. And now I'm gonna select the file going to go up to my VKB directory, find through this mess <laughs> where the 2.18.5 firmware is. Now, since this is a uh, Gladiator NXT series, I'm going to double click Gladiator NXT. And since it is a Omnithrottle version, we're going to be looking at the OTA variants but it is an Evo, so you have to compare all of these different things. You've got the Evo, and you have the NXT. And for mine, it is a KMZ41, which is an older version. Um, now, if you've purchased your uh, Gladiator Evo in the last few years, it may not have the KMZ41. You'll probably just have the regular uh, Evo OTA uh, variant. So I will select the Evo OTA KMZ41, version 2.18.5, click open, and then we click flash. And since this is an older stick, it should take a lot longer than your newer sticks. Some of your newer sticks would already be done by this point, but um, well, this is, it's what I have. So uh, it takes about a minute to uh, flash one of the older uh, Gladiator Evo sticks. Now, as you can see, right now the yellow indicator is on. You don't want to do anything at this point. You don't want to unplug anything that's very bad. You don't want to close off anything that's also very bad. Just want to let things finish. And if there's a problem, post about it on the Discord or on the forums. We can help you out with it. Now, last thing, we're going to wait for it to finish. And it should reset itself. And I will go into our VKB dev config. Now, this is the latest one that's on the website. Make sure that's the correct version. Double click it. And now I'm going to find my Gladiator Evo Omnithrottle left. And if this is the first time you're doing it, you'll want to click this big red default button. Okay, that's very important. Um, because if you don't default the stick, sometimes you can have problems. But if you're upgrading firmware from one version to the other, you may not need to default, but I always think it's a good idea to do so. So I'm going to click default. After it defaults, it'll come back. It will say this, this is very important right here. Need to configure controller. Do it now? Yes. Wait for it to finish that. And need to calibrate controller. Do it now? Yes. At this point, I'm gonna click test, go to axes, 
and I'm going to calibrate all of the axes on this controller. So I have to step away from the mic for just a moment. So one second. And now that the calibration is done, I'm going to click the end calibration. Now, as you could see, whenever I did the calibration, I went through uh, all of the analog axes as best I could and a nice smooth motion. I did it several times, so it managed to, uh, so I hope that it would pick up everything and we can go back to the axes page and we can test that out ourselves, but I'll uh, let you play around with this. And I hope this video is helpful to uh, those who are interested in uh, flashing their firmware. All right, take care. This is Untold Force signing off.